Hey what's up guys, Chout60 here, and welcome to Let's Play Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. It's uh, been a while since I've done a Let's Play series. When I recorded this gameplay, I never intended to do a Let's Play with it. I was actually recording for a separate project I'm working on. I figured since I got all this footage, I might as well make use of it, so here we are. The game we're playing right now, it's a first person tactical shooter. We're playing the first mission of the campaign where we have to locate and rescue some hostages. So we'll see how that goes. Looks clear so far. Those other soldiers you see on the right there, they're part of my Bravo team. In the game, you actually control up to two fire teams, Alpha and Bravo. I usually like to run two per team, so it's kind of like having a single fire team broken into two elements. And yeah, the basic goal is to complete the mission objectives in an open world or rather open map structure, and how you approach those objectives is up to you. Looks like Bravo is already engaging. We'll have to get them to hold so they don't get too far ahead. And that's the first objective done. Uh, pretty simple tactic there. Um, pretty much just approach the camp from multiple directions so you get a bit of a crossfire going. Before we move on, we're just going to regroup at the camp before heading to our next task. There's Bravo there waiting for us at camp. Alright, so our next task is to actually search for the um, hostages themselves. Um, got a bit of a cave system up ahead. So we're just going to approach that area and search it. First off, we'll get Bravo to um, approach the cave entrance. I mean, the way you order your AI around, it's a pretty simple interface. You pretty much just point and click. And that presents a series of waypoints for the um, AI to follow. You can also set a direction uh, to cover or an arc of fire as well at the end of each waypoint. And that's useful for machine gunners or snipers or if you just want your team to cover a specific direction once they reach a waypoint. We'll uh, follow Bravo in. Okay, so Bravo is off. They're approaching the uh, cave entrance now. We're just going to hang back a bit and provide a little overwatch. Make sure no one sneaks up behind them. They should be getting pretty close to the cave by now. You should see them in view pretty shortly. There they are. Alright, they're pretty much at the cave entrance now, so we'll get them to hold. When you give the AI a hold order, they'll actually move off to the nearest point of cover, as you see there, with, them, with Bravo moving to the rocks. That guy didn't last long. So yeah, generally the AI is pretty reactive in this game. They'll move out, they'll seek cover if they're suppressed or if they're told to hold, so yeah, that's pretty neat. <laughs> it's not without issues, of course. Got a patrol up ahead. Alright, that was a little bit unexpected. Um, yeah, cave entrance secure and we got the team regrouped so it's time to um, reach into the caves. A little CQB action going here. Voices up ahead. And he's down. So yeah, the cave system actually has multiple paths going through. Um, what I like to do is split my fire teams off so we can Pretty much cover more ground easily. Looks like Bravo's already spotted something. On the map, red is enemy, the grey, that'll be the hostage. And obviously the green and blue is us. Oop, someone fired.
think we're clear. It looks clear. Yeah, it looks like we're clear. We managed to um, secure the first room. Took some minor casualties, but... You know, nothing major. Just some minor wounds. Casualties are pretty much inevitable in this game. Of course, we'll do your best to avoid them, but... Sometimes you can't really. Enemy might just be that split second faster than you or your team, and... I guess seconds count in this game, so... So you see that hand signal Bravo just gave, it's it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that's actually the open file or or it might be the extended line formation, one of those two, um, the hand signal for that, so yeah, just a bit of an observation, maybe someone with more experience and knowledge could correct me on that. Okay, they continue searching for the uh, next hostage, it should be two left. As we just saw, Bravo took down an enemy by themselves. The AI is generally capable enough to look after itself as long as you're not giving them, you know, crazy orders like charging a machine gun this head on. They're generally responsible enough to work independently of you if needed. So yeah, they can be pretty useful if you want to split off to clear different areas, set up crossfires or you know, ambushing enemies in different directions. So yeah, even though the waypoint system is fairly simple, it does allow for a decent level of flexibility in how you approach the uh, mission area and objectives. So around this corner is another large room. I want to set up so both teams enter simultaneously. We'll just peek in and see what we're dealing with. Alright, we might have initiated a bit prematurely, but... Yep, looks clear, so nothing to worry about, I guess. We'll just get Bravo to cover the next entrance while we uh, secure this hostage. Bravo coming in now, a bit late to the party, but never mind. One last room to go. Let's move it and clear it out, eh? No fear. Okay. Looks like we got some... Yeah, looks like some pathfinding issues here, or a pathfinding glitch. It's one of the reasons I like to keep my team small. Um, you can have up to three teammates per uh, fire team, but... At that point, it gets tricky to manage. And... Oh, and he was right in front of you. I forgot what I was saying now, but um, okay, looks like we got the last room secure and the last prisoner. Completed. I took some additional injuries, but we managed to locate all the hostages. Now it's just a matter of escorting them to the extraction point. We've pretty much completed the mission right here. Yeah, I think we'll cut here. I'm Shout60, you've just watched part 1 of Ghost Recon Jungle Storm. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.